Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Soloing tracks and auditioning them can be a little bit of a hassle, but there's a really cool tool in Studio One that makes auditioning single tracks much easier, and that's the Listen tool. That's what I want to show you today. So if you look into the toolbar here of Studio One at the top, you're going to find the Listen tool, and you're also going to find this when you open up the editor, either for MIDI notes, like so, that's where the Listen tool is, or for audio tracks, right? And let me show you how it works. So we select the Listen tool here, and then when we click anywhere on a track, you'll see that the selected track is going to get soloed, and playback starts right away. This makes it very easy to audition certain sections of a track, all without having to solo the track first. And it works on any kind of track, be it audio or MIDI. What you can also do is assign this as a secondary tool, so you have a quick access for it. And if you want to do that, you can just select your usual tool here, the standard arrow tool, and then you can click on that again to select an alternative tool. And when I now select the Listen tool, and I hold down Command on a Mac, on Windows it would be Control, that I can quickly toggle to it. And as soon as I let go, I go back to my original tool. And that makes, uh, you know, auditioning any kind of tracks very easy and convenient. Now, this is also especially powerful when you use it with chords. By default, you'll notice that it won't work as well, because if you try to audition these chords here in the middle, nothing will happen because these are sustained notes. And if you start playback in the middle of them, you won't hear anything unless you have in the Studio One Preferences, under Advanced and MIDI, the option Chase Long Notes activated. When this is active, then the notes will actually play even when you're auditioning somewhere in the middle. So this is also a great way to quickly double check your chord progressions and make any changes if necessary. So the Listen tool, if you haven't used that in Studio One yet, it's a really cool tool that can help you to double check tracks without having to solo them. Hopefully you're going to find it helpful and thank you for watching.